Well, hi, Knitters. How are you? I'm doing great here in sunny Madison, Wisconsin. It's April 4th, and although it's April, we did get several inches of snow last night. So we're sitting on, I don't know, maybe two or three inches of snow, but it looks like it's already melting. So the grass is showing through and the streets look nice and clear. So I think, I think it won't last long, but it is going to be a cold stretch and that's just what happens in April. I think we're having an unusually cold <laughs> spring around here. So I know people are getting tired of it, but I don't worry too much about it because there's nothing you can do about it. So I just wanted to check in and say hi. And I haven't done a podcast for a very long time, but uh, I thought it would be nice to check back in. In fact, uh, I was in Stitches uh, well, I was at Stitches West in February and I was vending with Alana Dacos <clears throat> of Never Not Knitting. And I got to see so many fun knitters who came into the booth and uh, said hello. And the one of the main things I heard is that people um, missed my podcast, the people who came and talked to me, which I thought was so sweet. So I wasn't sure if anyone watched. So <laughs> here I am, I'm back again. And um, I thought I would pop in and say hello. And uh, that was nice though, to hear that from lots of people. So um, I appreciated that. So the first thing I want to talk about today is um, the sweater I'm wearing. I just bound off um, the sweater yesterday and I blocked it and I put a nice fan on the to blow on the sweater while it was um, Drying and that really sped things up quite a bit. And so it's finished and um, I love it so much. It's by a pattern called little twigs. It's by Melody Hoffman She's also known as mandarins or be mandarins um, on on a uh, Ravelry and um, Instagram. She has a beautiful Instagram feed. I've followed her for a very long time. Um, she's kind of a newer designer, but she's been really cranking out some really beautiful designs. And I think she's been in um, some different magazines. I think she might have been in Pom Pom Magazine, but I'm not sure. But anyway, some different magazines she's been in. And she's doing really well. She's had just some beautiful hits on her own too. Some beautiful shawl designs and when I saw this sweater, I was so intrigued by the yoke of it, and I don't know if you can, I'll try to kind of tip so you can, the light maybe hits it a little bit better, but it's really an interesting, oh there, maybe you can see better if I lean up here. So it has this, um, these rows of arrows that do kind of look like sticks or twigs, so I, I can understand why she called it that. Uh, and they're created by, um, slip stitches carrying the yarn on the front. So you do this kind of series um, sequence of slip stitches which create the arrows carrying the yarn in front. So really it's like the floats are kind of on the front side of the sweater and it's incredibly simple and it looks way more complicated than it is, which is something I always love. <laughs> I don't know who doesn't love that. Um, so. Anyway, I finished it. It was um, incredibly quick and fast. Uh, it's just a bottom-up sweater, um, plain stockinette with a one-by-one -one rib um, treatment on the edgings, um, you know, straight-up body. And so you do the sleeves in the body first, you join, and then you work this kind of fantastical uh, yoke in these fun slip stitches, and then you just do a little more ribbing at the top, and you bind off. and. Um, I used the nice uh, Russian bind off for my um, in pattern for my um, bind off here on the neck and it just fits great. I did the second size. Um, the yarn I used is um, our, my, my yarn company Barrett Wolco in the home worsted weight. This is the Big Woods colorway and um, oh it's such a good squishy um, worsted weight yarn. It's 100% American wool. And I used this is the one obviously that I used. Um, it's one of our newest colorways called Big Woods, which um, is really appropriate, I think, for this color. But um, one of the main things I wanted to tell you is that we're going to have kits for this sweater. And um, 
this. So I'm filming this on a Thursday and I think the kits are gonna be released tomorrow on a Friday. So um, hopefully if you're interested in the kits, um, you'll sign up for the newsletter or pop on over and, and check it out tomorrow, if, depending on when I get this up. So um, I'm really excited about it and it fits just great. I don't know if I can kind of show you a little bit, but it fits, it's just a great um, pullover. I did a kind of a split hem with the hem being a little bit longer in the back. And um, I just kind of like that, um, I like that kind of style. That wasn't in the pattern, but that's really, Simple to do if you want to modify that. Um, I became obsessed with this sweater right when it came out. And one thing I really loved about it is that Melody worked with this um, designer. Now, you're going to remember her name. It's, um, so it's N-A-S-T-I-A hyphen S-L-E-P-T-S-O-V-A. Um, and she does graphic design, and she had this just beautiful um, package. And I ordered, there's a brooch that she designed. I mean, look how sweet the package is. It's so sweet. And this is the pin, the brooch, of the same sweater that I'm wearing. You can see the little twigs design at the top. So um, I had to order that at the time. I didn't even, I don't know. I wasn't sure when or if I was gonna knit the sweater, but um, I just had to have that sweet brooch. So it's called Little Sweater Brooch. And it was kind of a team design between the two of them, which I thought was very sweet. And then while I was on here, I ordered some other, oh, and then this little, um, card. This is a greeting card I ordered. It also has the same sweater um, pattern on it. The little twig sweater and she has some other cards that are very sweet and fun. And this is a sticker set and I thought that would be fun to um, decorate uh, maybe a sketchbook or something like that. So anyway, I'm into it. I loved it. Um, this um, Nastya slept Stova, slept Sova, slept Sova. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to say that name at all. But she also does little brooches of houses. And, um, you know, I've always been slightly obsessed. I love with houses, but I love how she also puts the um, dried wildflowers in her boxes. I got that one. I have another um, house brooch by um, Julia Smith Ceramics, and um, I love that. And I got this one too. This is so simple and sweet, and I love the I love the way the card is illustrated. So it looks like the house is sitting in a, in a setting. <laughs> so you probably see me sporting those around. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, these are just some other cards too. That Here's one with a beautiful starry sky. I'll put the link up. Um, on my blog or something. So, some various cards, greeting card, cards. She's on Etsy. Um, and she's from the Ukraine. Yeah, Bee Mandarin's on Instagram and Nastya Slept Sova. <laughs> like the word slept. <laughs> I know, you get your, I know you're probably already tired of me trying to sound that out like a first grader. <laughs> but anyway, that is just too good to be true. Love all of it. So anyway, um, I'll link to that stuff so that you can find it if you're interested. Even her boxes was so beautiful. I'll cover my address there, but look at her box with all the stamps and the stickers and it's really 
kind of fun. So, um, kids tomorrow for this, I we're going to have some, not a huge amount. We're getting another uh, enormous shipment of yarn coming in probably, I'm hoping by the end of April. So we'll be fully restocked and then we can do um, more kits of everything and on Barrett Wilco. So that'll be very exciting. So uh, the next thing I want to talk about, oh, I don't know if you saw, I did some beautiful daffodils just to kind of celebrate the spring. Um, I did find some yarn that I wanted to talk about a long time ago when I was in Edmonton for the Ann, Ann Bud Knit for Fun retreat. The cozy knitter was there and I got to meet her and, and she's so lovely. Um, it's the cozyknitter.com and she's cozyknittershop.etsy.com. But she gave me this um, yarn for socks. It's, she just, it was a gift. And uh, I absolutely love it. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Is it Huga? Um, I think it's the it's a Scandinavian term for like relaxing and feeling good and enjoying life. That that kind of thing. I don't know if I'm summing it up correctly, but anyway, I just thought this was so beautiful. It's striping. Um, this is a glittery yarn. I don't usually knit with glittery yarns too often. I guess I have maybe have maybe two pairs of socks I've done with some glittery yarn um, in my lifetime, but I think this one's really pretty. It's got a gold Stellina mix in it, and this is striping, so it's got a, a gray, a couple shades of gray, a gold, and then that really soft pink, which um, goes so nicely together, and then the cuffs and the heels, um, or the mini skein cuffs, heels and toes you could do in this beautiful golden color. So that one I'm gonna cast on soon. Um, it's a super wash merino and it has gold, gold Stellina in it. So thank you Cozy Knitter and I cannot wait to cast these on. They're kind of in my queue for sock yarns to cast on. Um, speaking of socks, I don't have anything too exciting on the needles. Um, this is a Renee Renee uh, Lutius bag. She's Lowland Originals. It's one of my all-time favorite bags that is just so simple. It has this sweet um, kind of sunflower. It looks kind of vintage um, on the inside there. I love Renee's bag. She's one of my favorite bag makers. And uh, I'll just show you this sock. This is an Arnie and Carlos. Um, sock yarn and here's the first one. Uh, I used my smooth operator socks pattern. I did the um, the original decrease here and the um, no pickup gap closer for the, the kind of holes there. Um, these are going to be for a gift. I think so. Um, I got the first one done which feels really good and then I have the second one. Uh, I think I'm right to the point now where I need to put the waist yarn in for the um, Smooth Operator Socks heel. Um, that's my pattern. It's found on Ravelry if you're interested. So here's the second one uh, that I've gotten to. These are my signature double pointed needles. They're in size US 1, 2.25 millimeter, and they're six inches in length. I get asked that all the time. This um, is my DPN Cozy, and it's by the Scrappy. The scrappy thread. This is a great uh, quilted DPN cozy. She even has a bit of um, like a tape measure uh, ribbon on the end there, which is really sweet. But um, I really like. I have a couple of her bags, and this little DPN cozy is. It's kind of. I love the quilted um, feel to it because it makes it. It feels really cushioned and nice in there. So um, here's the how that works. You just snap your um, project in there. So that's kind of fun. I have that sock on the needles right now. Um, Arnie and Carlos Regia. I don't remember what number this is unless I have it. Oh no, I have it in my bag. Let's see. It's color number 3760, if you're interested in that. Arnie and Carlos Regia. All right, so there's one sock project I have going. 
I have another one going here. And this one is, I'm just making sure that this was still going. Um, this one is, for my son. And I may have shown this before, I don't even know. Can't remember, because I've been knitting this a long time, so this doesn't really fit on my sock blocker very well. Um, but uh, I did, again, use the Smooth Operator sock pattern. The largest size is the size I use for my son. He's a size 11 foot, and um, it's pretty wide, and these um, fit him. So he tried on the first one, and. I wanted to make sure you tried it on because this is an opal sock yarn. Oh, here we go. It's an opal light sock yarn and it's a three ply lighter weight sock yarn, which um, he had asked me before if there was some kind of lighter weight yarn that I could use for his socks. And so I'm giving this one a try. It's number nine three five four so opal light nine three five four if you're interested in that um and it's going along really well i'm using um size zero for this because it is a lighter weight sock yarn i wanted to make sure it wasn't too loose um and that's all i have done on the second one these are the a knit a knitter's pride zings or knit pro zings um these are size zero is that a 2.25 millimeter, I think? And then I have this one in my Little Bobbins uh, DPN Cozy, which has a little Red Riding Hood theme. So that's really very cute. You can see a little Red Riding Hood there and the wolf. <laughs> I love that one. Um, I have this sock in my um, Never Not Knitting uh, bag that I love. It's this beautiful um, linen fabric. So I think Alana has kits for this too. So you should look look over there if you're wanting to sew a bag and get a kit. That's a really good one to have. Um, another interesting thing that I ran across was this yarn. It's called Mondim. <laughs> I'll, if I get a name correct this podcast, I will start feeling really good about myself. Um, and it's from Portugal. And uh, I think I ran, it's Portuguese wool, 100% Portuguese wool. It is not super wash wool. And here I should go ahead and show it to you. So here's the label, which I love that label. <laughs> Looks like a sketch and it's so fun. But look at these great. Colors is kind of a striping, but it's real speckly and fun. And I ordered that from um, rosapalmar.com, retrosaria.rosapalmar.com. And uh, I'm really anxious to try this. Oh, my God. See, there's the, the name and the color is 207. But that looks really interesting and fun, and I love uh, non-superwash sock yarn. I just absolutely love it. I also got this color, which is 201, and it is just a real speckled, 100% um, wool, not uh, superwash wool, so it's kind of fun. So I'm gonna be trying that. It came with the sticker, Portuguese. It says, Portuguese knitting, and it has a yarn wrapped around the neck, which I don't know how to do. <laughs> But I'd love to learn someday. So there's some fun things that um, I've received. So at the end of the podcast, I'm going to do a fun giveaway. So stay tuned for that. I also have um, had some a couple of fun things happen in my Ravelry pattern shop. One of the main things is that my book got a little bit bent there because it was in my bag because I'm using it to knit a baby sweater gift. But my book, Kindred Knits, uh, which came out with um, Quince & Co. not too long ago, is now available in my Ravelry Pattern Shop. Um, with the release of this podcast, I'm going to go ahead and put this on sale. It is an ebook for $13 if you don't have the printed form and you want just the ebook form. Um, I'm going to put it on sale for $10. And I have some of the samples with me. Um, here's my sketch. But I have some of the samples here with me. And then also at the end, 
um, has a worksheet section, uh, educational section on how to create your own top-down sweater pattern in any size, just using a, a t-shirt um, that you like the fit on to, to measure, <laughs> um, to take some measurements, and then you can create your own easy pattern. So it actually, has, there's so much stuff packed in that small size booklet. So first I have some um, sweaters that are for an 18 inch doll size, like uh, an American girl type doll, or even just like a little teddy bear or some kind of stuffed animal. I love that button on there, the bunny button. So these are tiny, teeny, tiny sweaters for, for doll size. Um, I also have some ornament sweaters. Um, these are just all on a string, so this is just a plain one. This one had a embroidery on it, and another cardigan, and another little cardigan. So there's a pullover and a cardigan pattern in there for sweater ornaments. Uh, and then I have a series of um, baby sweaters, and they're, um, they come through size, uh, newborn through two years in size. So. Uh, and then there's that worksheet that shows you how to make them bigger to fit kind of any size child or even you could even do that with an adult size sweater. So the first one is this basic cardigan uh, sweater and it just it has this great dropped neck, super easy and simple. You could put more buttons or less, fewer buttons on them, but this is a little newborn size. It's just very teeny tiny size. This one, um, as you can see how big it is on me, it's really a tiny, sweet little sweater. Um, then I have a short sleeve pattern. Again, you could put on as many buttons. You could even just do you know, three buttons at the top if you want. Um, but here's a short sleeve version of that and a nice series of beautiful greens, green colors. Just They're all done in worsted weight wool. And then this one is a play on an ampere waist. It's kind of a shorter, this is the two year size. So this one looks, it's a lot bigger than these little newborn size sweaters. You can see newborn and then this is the largest size, the two year size um, sweater. And then I think this might've been the one year size. It's a hoodie with a um, nice little trim there on the hood and uh, just two buttons on the front. So I, I had knit up um, most of the sizes in the um, in the patterns there for um, you. And then I also added a hat and it has a kind of a little tree or leaves on the hat. Um, I can't remember what it was called in the book. I should look that up. Maybe it's like twigs or is it little tree or twigs? Let me see what that hat was called. Leaf top, leaf top baby hat it's called in here. So there's that and that comes in all corresponding sizes for the um, sweaters. So you could add a, add a cute hat onto your gift or your baby present. And then I have a leafy um, blanket, baby blanket pattern too. It's just got some lace panels very simple, um, every other row kind of lace pattern um, for a sweet baby blanket. So you have a whole array of patterns in there. And again, I'm putting that on sale. I'll probably leave it up for, for sale for a week or so at $10 and it's normally $13, but you get a lot of, a lot of stuff in here. Um, plus the whole instructional section. They're it's a beautifully illustrated book too. Um, through Quince & Co, they do such a, a wonderful job of um, publishing all their patterns and books. So you might wanna check that out. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about, oh, I had got some fun yarn from um, Boho Chic Fiber Company, and this is her hand spun yarn. And they're all, I think they're all one of a kind, but she does have a lot of hand spun in her shop if you're interested in that. But this is this fun, chunky yarn. It's so vibrant and uh, lovely. I just love it. It's a bit of thick and thin because it's a hand spun. Uh, here's her tag, the Boho, Boho Chic Fiber Company. This one's called 90s Nostalgia. It's targi, merino, and nylon, chunky, 105 yards. 
um, per skein. So I don't know what I'll do. Maybe some mittens or a hat. It's just, ah, I love it so much. Super soft. She is very talented, so you should look her up. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about is um, I have a book from, well, one of the last things. I have a book from uh, Quince, and it's written by uh, the lovely and talented Pam Allen, who is one of the or the founder of Quince, and she's still, I think the creative director is her title at quinceandco.com. Uh, she's one of my favorite designers in the world. She just, um, the book is called Plain and Simple. She creates garments that are truly what I like to wear, just very simple, basic things, and they're timeless. They don't go out of style, they're not trendy. Um, they usually have, her designs have quite a bit of ease in them, which I like. I never like to feel like I'm wearing a tight um, knitted sweater. That's just not really kind of my style. Um, but I was going to read just a little bit of this um, introduction um, for you. So she says, this is from Pam Allen. This is, I'll just read a paragraph or so here for you. Thinking up a sweater collection is a bit like writing a first sentence. Sometimes it comes along easily, other times it's a matter of fits and starts, and there's a lot of sleeping on it. Plain and Simple had a somewhat reluctant first sentence beginning. It began with one sweater, Ash, an oversized pocketed pullover that was meant to be a one-off, not the start of a collection. I can't remember where the idea for this piece came from. It may be that my daughter was visiting and wore something wide and swingy and I was taken with it. Perhaps it was a photo I saw somewhere that sparked the idea, I'm not sure. But something prompted the notion of a sweater, wide, 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 with swing and drape. Around the same time, and really always, I was wanting to knit with Owl, our lofty wool alpaca blend, in one of the undyed natural colors. From there came the details, a close neck, the fitted sleeves to balance the width, a bit of brioche stitch for texture, deep borders, and pockets. Anyway, and then she goes along to describe the different sweaters she did in this beautiful collection, plain and simple. Um, it's a book, it's just gorgeous. And I love the way Pam writes. Um, Oh, her writing just, it really takes you somewhere. It's so wonderful. I could knit every single thing, and I would like to knit every single thing in here. It's truly a book that is designed after my own heart, and I think a lot of people. Um, she's done a lot with these drop sleeves. This one's called Ash. This was the one she was just talking about with the swingy um, wide uh, body and deep pockets. A lot of our things have pockets, which I really like. Um, here you can see the swing on that sweater. And some of her sweaters have, you know, 12 inches of positive ease. She has this real textured uh, open cardigan with the wide ribbed band around the front. Um, this, oh, and again, look at the proportions on this. It's so playful. I love the dropped. Um, underarm, the big wide yoke, and then again, it's just generously sized and beautiful. This one's called Birch. These are all done in Owl, which is a yarn uh, alpaca wool blend through Quince & Co. Here's another one called Oak with a pocket, um, great pocket on the front. Just again, simple um, and lovely. Um, let's see. Here's kind of a, this one's called large, and it's a big kind of oversized almost coat. It's very cozy. The whole book is so cozy. Here's another shot of that one. Almost like a tunic length. Oh, and this one I really like. It's called Walnut. This looks like something I would wear every single day. <laughs> Has um, big pockets and a wide rib at the bottom. Oh, it has a side split. Anyway, you get the idea. This book is outstanding. She has a hat in there, stripy hat with a cute pom-pom. 
So there are 11 knits to wear every day. I'm gonna be giving away a copy of this. Um, I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna do this. I think I'm going to put this up on my Instagram. So um, I'll put it on Instagram and then also um, I can have you enter on YouTube too once I get this pattern, um, you, uh, podcast up, not pattern on YouTube, then you can leave a comment uh, on YouTube too, and I can contact you through YouTube if you win. Um, so I'll kind of combine those together and pull together, but I can, do, um, I can do a giveaway for one of these books and I can have it mailed to you directly from Quince and Co. So they're very generous. So thank you Quince and Co. for the great offer on um, hosting a giveaway for Pam's um, magnificent collection here of everyday knits and they, they really are everyday knits. Um, another thing I want to show you is that I just had a pattern come out in Taproot Magazine. Um, we're selling this magazine on Barrett Wool Co. and we've had kits for the pattern but the cover is spectacular. I love that colorful quilt on there. One of my favorite magazines. It's got recipes, um, just kind of informational articles craft project and then here they have my co my project this month is called uh, cozy mouse and here's some of the photos for the um, pattern it's, it's um i made two of them in two different color versions um we had kits for these and well i'm going to be posting more of these um kits on barrett wilco too um, but I just wanted to make sure you guys were aware of this. It's issue 26 and it's called Heal is the theme of the, um, the beautiful Taproot magazine. So that, that's fun to have a pattern come out in there. Um, oh, I have a lot of reading material that I want to get through. Um, I started a fun pair of bobbly mittens. So those are coming up down the pipeline. My next sweater endeavor, well, I have a couple of them. Um, one is a sweater for Barrett Wilco um, that uh, Devin Ventry uh, designed for us, and I want to get a sample of that on my needles. And then the other one that um, I'm working on with our small local mill is the Tecumseh sweater by Caitlin Hunter. And uh, I'm going to be casting that on very shortly here, so um, here's the here's a picture of it. I like this. She kind of has it at her feet. I do this kind of thing a lot, <laughs> but anyway, very very beautiful sweater. Kind of interesting proportions on that one too. Again, a really wide kind of A-line um, body on that sweater. So anyway, I think that's about it. Um, I have I have one more little sample here. Um, I have a mitt that I'm working on, a uh, fingerless mitt that I'm working on to pattern. So that'll be coming in um, down the wire. It's in fingering weight and has a bunch of textures and fun things on it to keep your interest. Well, I think that's about it. I feel like I've, I probably have a few more things here, but I'll, I'll come back again. <laughs> and um, fill you in on those. So again, leave a comment if you're interested in the um, Pam Allen Plain and Simple book. Here it is, and I'll also put that up on Instagram. Um, thanks for joining me today. It's been so nice to chat with you again, and hopefully I'll be able to see you again really soon. So bye, knitters. Take care.